The United States has declared a public health emergency because of the coronavirus. This means foreign nationals believed to be a risk of transmitting that virus will temporarily be stopped from entering the country. The new restrictions begin Sunday afternoon, so all flights from China will be allowed to land at only seven airports. And Americans returning from Hubei province will be required to undergo 14 days of quarantine. People returning from other parts of China will be allowed to self-monitor their condition for a similar amount of time. And now three major U.S. airlines are canceling or reducing their flights to China in response to the coronavirus outbreak. Last night, the U.S. State Department elevated its China travel advisory to a level four, recommending that Americans do not travel there. Now, of course, this is having a big impact on travelers. Our Tom Waite is live at LAX with the very latest there. Tom. And Sharon and Juan, in talking with passengers, you really get a sense that they understand the danger is real from the coronavirus. Some are even saying they changed their plans to avoid even connecting through China because they were worried about getting back. We are very afraid of coronavirus, so we want to protect us. As fear continues to spread at LAX over the coronavirus, top Trump administration officials declared the coronavirus a public health emergency here in the U.S. That means any U.S. traveler returning from Wuhan, China, and the region will now be quarantined. Any U.S. citizen returning to the United States who has been in Hubei province in the previous 14 days will be subject to up to 14 days of mandatory quarantine. Starting Sunday, all incoming flights from China are going to be funneled through seven airports, including LAX. Hours before the emergency declaration, major U.S. carriers announced they are either completely suspending or reducing flights to and from China. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg. The Chinese outbound market is the biggest in the world. It has collapsed. So the airlines just aren't doing this out of, out, of a, out of an abundance of caution. They're doing it because of a loss of revenue already. Travelers we spoke with have even changed their plans to make sure if they go abroad, they can get back. Originally, we were flying through uh, China Airlines through Taiwan, and one day back, we changed the flight. And one of the reasons is they say, you can go, we cannot guarantee that you can come back. So you can see there the very real world effects of the coronavirus. There has been a seventh confirmed case of coronavirus in the U.S. It was found in Santa Clara County. That's, of course, in Northern California. Here in L.A. County, there has still been only one confirmed case of the coronavirus. Reporting live at LAX, I'm Tom Wade, KCAL 9 News.